I think that climbing is absolutely pointless. We're often trying to find the most difficult way to get halfway up a rock face. And yet so many of us place so much value in what grade we climb and where we've climbed and how we climb. And we often lose ourselves in that. The climbing community has always kind of accepted me just as is. And so I definitely feel like I climb because it just, it's, it, it makes me like who I am. I feel like once people say you're a climber, they like expect you to climb a certain grade. I don't know why that's never been my motivation. I feel like for me, it's always been about the movement. Like when I can get through something, I'm like, oh crap, like my body can do that. It's this like sense of belonging in myself. Climbing makes me feel strong. It makes me feel like I can do a lot more than I think. And I love that about climbing. I really love rock climbing and I really love bringing people together to try rock climbing. I find myself really wanting to be surrounded by people that inspire me. And that inspiration comes regardless of what they're climbing. It's more just about how these people make me feel when I'm in these places of vulnerability and trying hard. When I started thinking about this trip to Mexico, I was really thinking about surrounding myself with people who inspire me and encourage me to be better. And so I invited a few different climbers that I've had the opportunity to climb with in the past. Potrero just felt like a really great spot to bring us all together. It's a very unique group. I've never brought together a group for recreational climbing that has such different experiences in climbing. This trip is really unique because we're just all here to have fun and we're all here to like support each other. Everyone here is just so positive and, and sees such goodness that it like outshines what I can see in myself, you know? Bye bye now. <laughs> For a really long time in climbing, I felt like I had to prove myself. Early on, I got a lot of opportunities because I'm a woman and I wasn't as good of a climber as other people around me. Why is Lizzie getting this chance? Why is she being sponsored? Why is this happening for her? Those comments really made me feel like I had to perform at a certain level and I almost didn't want to like climb around people because I was embarrassed that I couldn't climb in the ways that they thought I should. I think I put a lot of pressure on myself when it comes to climbing because I, in a way, do feel like I am this kind of representation for other black women out there or mixed women out there. So I put this pressure on myself to keep trying to like send things. But I also don't want to lose like the reason why I started climbing in the first place, which is just to have fun. And I'm like, I, I juggle that line. If I am saying I'm a climber, they're looking at me like, you climb? Anytime I'm doing anything outdoors, I feel like it's always, prove you're not fat, prove you're not fat, prove you're not fat. It just feels like this elephant in the room I have to avoid always. I feel like society kind of expects mothers to 
um, put that stuff aside, put aside their careers, their passions in order to raise a family and that they should be sort of happy with that and that that should be enough for them. Given that my identity is so tied to that, it's, you know, it's a, it's a concern that I'll like lose who I am. A lot of climbers will choose a route because of the grade, like this is a 512 and I want to conquer that grade. But for me, it's really become about the beauty of the route and experiencing the movement. It, it almost becomes like, what do you think about yourself if you can't do it? If you can't climb this grade, what is like you're allowing it to define your self-worth in certain ways. I was really scared the first night when we were all sitting around chatting. Like, I didn't know if everyone knew how inexperienced I was. Yeah. Like even today, I, I was having to tell Miranda, like, "Hey, I um, I don't know how to rappel." Over to the left. Uh huh. Of the crack system, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then. But you can't quite see the hardware, but you can see that it like stops up there. So the first time I looked up at the climb, right here, the tiny little succulent I thought, uh -huh. is the bolt above that, that looks like I could that? do that. The rock was just so big and it surrounds you and the sun was hitting it and just standing in it, you know, like being in the middle of that just felt so huge. <laughs> Yeah, my body is changing like every day and climbing is getting harder and harder, which admittedly, like I do think about that. Like I think about the grade. I think now I think and just trying to have as much fun as possible. OK, climb on, cat. When I was on the wall, I was really <laughs> frustrated with myself because I looked above me and I okay. knew that I could do the moves, but I could not get my body I to follow you. through on them. Can't bolts just be placed closer together? I just don't know how I'm gonna clip with that hand once I get up. Fuck, 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 fuck. I could see <laughs> what I was supposed to do and as soon as I would get up to it, I would just freak yes! out. <laughs> I think if I keep trying, I'm not gonna have fun. I'm less concerned about the, the athletes that are just climbing really hard because at the end of the day, I just think like there's way more to life than just climbing hard. <laughs> it made me really joyful to be around somebody who was like not so attached to having to do it perfectly and was more about like, let's have this experience. Our goal was to summit this thing, like let's go climb. Climbing the tower with Kat made me feel this like new sense of confidence. I also realized that I can still be a guide and be a mother. When I am climbing and I feel scared, going through the system of checks, like, then I'm like, okay, everything's in place, so why can't you just go a little bit further, do a little bit more? I'm glad I didn't stop. I almost asked to go back down. I'm glad I kept going. So I feel proud of myself. Um, I know that's how I feel mostly. I feel really like just proud. 
that I'm here That's and that awesome. I'm doing this and yeah. <laughs> If I was literally climbing just to like climb hard or just climb things, I would have stopped climbing years ago. But it's really the people and the friends I've made throughout my whole experience that really keeps me wanting to keep doing this. Climbing allows us all to challenge ourselves in very similar ways and it doesn't really matter what grade you're climbing at when you're doing it, you're challenging yourself and I think that's something we can all understand and value in the others. Yeah.